Hey guys, CP Modic here, back with another video. And a few years ago, I made a video about this guy when it stopped working, the Nexus 5. And that video kind of blew up a little bit. And well, essentially what had happened was I updated to the latest version of Android, ran it for a few weeks, and then the phone bricked itself. What had happened was the software somehow started registering the power button constantly being pushed down and essentially acted as if you were holding the power button down on the phone. Now, this was a problem for some Nexus 5 models and didn't necessarily affect affect everyone. Since then, Google has issued patches and fixes so that more phones don't have this issue, but alas, the Nexus 5 is still bricked. Fast forward a couple years and we're back with another video with the Nexus 6P also too bricked thanks to a software update. Now I don't run my phones out of spec, my Nexus 6P is running stock Android, no ROMs, no roots, nothing like that, and so was my Nexus 5, no ROMs, no roots or anything like that. I updated this guy a couple weeks ago to Android 7.1.1. One, thought nothing of it, used it for a few weeks, and now it has stopped working. However, this time round, it's not the power button that is registering as being clicked, it is something else inside the phone. So whilst I don't necessarily have a solution in this video, I do want to warn other Nexus 6P users to be careful when using your device and running Android 7.1.1 as there is definitely this issue. Now if you are worried about this issue, there are a few things you can do to protect yourself from, well, ending up with a complete bricked phone and having this happen to your phone. First and foremost is back up your device. If you're running an Android device, chances are you are logged in with a Google account, so enable syncing to get all your data backed up. If you're a little bit more skeptical of Google services, you can go ahead and connect it up to a computer and use a piece of software to copy the contents on your phone to your computer so if something does happen, you can then restore it back to another device. Lucky enough for me, I have already backed up this guy so I haven't lost any data but it is still a pretty disappointing problem. Solution number two is just un-update your phone, roll back to Android 7.0 or roll back to a previous version of Android like 6.0 to go ahead and avoid this issue. However, with that being said, you will be rolling back on security updates, so your security will be let down a little bit. So what happens when this happens to your device? Well, first and foremost, it crashes. The phone locked up and I thought nothing too of it because, well, from time to time, Nexus devices do lock up and do crash. However, nothing really more than other devices on the market. So when it crashed, I just sort of let it go through the stages again and let the Google logo come up on the screen. Usually at this point, the little colored dots come up on the screen and it loads back into Android. However, this time around, it just keeps flicking through that Google logo. And after about five minutes of doing this, the phone becomes so hot, it almost caught my pants on fire when I went out and had lunch with this guy still in my pocket. And the only way to break this cycle is to hold down all the keys, jump into the bootloader and actually force it off through that as well as you can tell there's no way to pull the battery out of this phone. Now, as I am a bit of a tinkerer, tweaker, and like modifying computers and stuff, I always enable developer options and higher level developer sort of settings in my phones so I can access them from computers remotely if they're not working properly. For things like bug reports and getting logs off the phone without really needing to get into it, I do like having that. So I went ahead and plugged in my phone to my computer and it didn't even show up. If your phone does reach this stage, there's really nothing you can do at it. Some models might get to a stage where you can run a software unbricker and that will definitely work, but my guy is bricked so far to the point that nothing can actually save it. I tried running pieces of software that would supposedly unbrick the phone and nothing worked. Not even loading a stock ROM on there would work at all. The PC didn't pick it up and this phone keeps booting over and over. So at the end of the day, this video is a bit of a PSA for those of you who are running the Nexus 6P and are running the latest version of Android. Do be careful, do back up your software and maybe roll back a version of Android until this solution is fixed. Google themselves hasn't really acknowledged this too much, but it is definitely a problem with a lot of users out there reporting this exact problem, where they use the phone for a little bit and then it flat out bricks itself and there's nothing they can do. Lucky enough for me, my phone is still under warranty, so I can get a warranty swap, but it's just something I really don't want to have to deal with. I still love the Nexus line and think they're awesome phones with stock Android and all those crazy things that you can do with stock Android phones, but at the end of the day, it is 
becoming a little bit of a nuisance since I have a history with Android phones, especially the Nexus devices, randomly bricking themselves after a software update with hundreds of other users also to experiencing the same problems. So with that being said though, that is about it for this video. If you have the exact same experience, let me know down below and also too, if you think you have a solution, maybe let me know down below. I've tried just about every unbricking software and there's really not that much else I can do other than sending it back in for a replacement unit. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time for another video.